the way isn't new. Man, I'll start with the bar stuff. So we actually just this morning landed the machinery and it's kind of final resting place. I mean, nothing around here is final. We're always willing to move things around for you know optimization, lean processes and whatnot. Pete and I came in this weekend, put everything on the computer like we would do if it was a stitching cell. Went through the workflow in our heads, and came up with a plan, came in here, put the team in place, did a walkthrough of what we would be looking at and 90% of what we did on the computer was correct. You guys got any milk bars? Oh yeah, plenty. Yeah, good ones? Want to do workflow walkers? Yeah, sure, yeah, we're ready. So basically it's like this, at half speed, this will do twice as much as this can do. So where's all the bars gonna go? So someone's, to, to, to be able to actually use this at half speed, someone's gonna have to stand here and literally move one bar so that two can go through at a time. Mm. We've got raw material here. We load it on here, vacuum sucks it down. It cuts the pieces out, and then we take and assemble there, and we'll put them on a pallet, and then out the door. Our primary business is the gun stock, so you know we supply a lot of the shotgun butt stocks and four arms for police officers, military. It's actually a uh, business picked up. Uh, we started back in I think 2013 or something, we started with uh, balance boards. We've got a few things that we're working on now and looking forward to, uh, to making some for some production here. Now hopefully things will start to get back uh, back to normal a little bit and then have these other things and product lines into our wheelhouse. Now you can't go to gyms, you've got to exercise at home. So I think it's a, you know, it's a huge opportunity and uh, it could help some people out, stay fit and stay in shape. Well, you know, we used to have a strength and conditioning line where we made um, Indian clubs, called them gravity clubs, and we used to do a balance board. And we were too small of a company to really do it successfully. Jacques and I have been talking about this idea he had for a portable kettlebell that you could put in your suitcase, your backpack, or whatever, that you could fill as heavy as you wanted with lead shot or sand or whatever. And basically, you have to take it with you everywhere, so it's the burden. So basically, like, how heavy is your burden? You know what I mean? You know, everyone's home right now, and they're they're doing their strength training at home. So we have so many ideas for this. We're like, hey, if we're gonna have a gap of time where people are gonna be home, let's just get to work on this and see if we can bring the stuff we've been talking about to fruition. We want to do it with a way where maybe leave like here would be grommets, like brass grommets boom, like this, all through. And then they can open it up, they can fill it with as much, and then they can just lace it up. Maybe put a dowel on the inside for more structure. You know, there's there's a kettle, there's a kettlebell, man. A badass, all leather kettlebell. Well, that's the idea. It's the idea is you're gonna have to carry your burden everywhere. What's it called? The burden? The burden. It's a good name.